So mm-hmm. I was buying crypto in 2016, December of 2016. Okay, wow. Yeah. So yeah, still, still like, you know, that's, that's a great time to get in. Yeah. yeah it was Ethereum a really brand new. Yeah. It, it, uh, it's what made me a moon boy for life. Basically I got imprinted because the minute I bought, like things just started going crazy. I mean, we had Litecoin go to $420, BTC went to 20,000, Ethereum went to $1,400. Mm. I, I remember seeing Ethereum at, at like a dollar fifty. I saw it for a dollar, but I didn't trust it at, at the time. Like I just like Bitcoin made sense to me. And then like at the time, Litecoin was like, like, like what, like Bitcoin's, Bitcoin's, Bitcoin's gold, Litecoin's silver. And so, so, and they were saying since it's four times the supply, one day for Litecoin, they're going to equal one big, you know, that old, the, yeah, the, old, yeah. uh, you know, the FOMO math, right? For everybody. Yeah. So, and I was like, shit, at least if one ends up equaling 20%, I mean, 20 Litecoin equals one BTC, I'll be, I'll be paid. So I just started buying these two. And then eventually it was like, you know, Ethereum's actually pretty good. So I started buying it and um, did very well with those. I sold them at pretty good prices. And then um, um, just obviously we had the crash in uh, 2018, basically, mm-hmm. for the, the crypto market. Um yeah, so it's just it was like that was my first that that was like the like uh, I was kind of t- when you're in 2016 it was still like people really thought it was still a bear market in 2016 from what mm-hmm. I remember up until the first quarter of 2017 like it was like I don't know if this thing's really coming back uh, you know I don't know and then boom just launched I mean just vertical it was the most like even the, even on this cycle I've never experienced that level of euphoria ever since like it, it really was like chasing the dragon it was like it was like one it was just straight up like nine months like nothing but net it's just vertical candle like everything you would touch would make money it didn't matter at That's all crazy it, it was in- did you get out of the top Mo- no 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 I would say probably like 25 percent off the top something like okay. that but on I didn't sell until like it after after it topped and it started going down I started selling like February of uh, 2018 so I didn't sell the, I didn't sell the top no way okay. but um but it still did very well and then um 2018 28 I just kept DCAing um I, dollar that's why I call myself dollar cost average or dollar cost crypto and um because I, I picked up a lot of these things from the equities market because I was studying it for years and mm-hmm. then um I just started I I'd set up like these 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 purchase orders like for 20 bucks 30 bucks I didn't care about a dollar two dollar fee because I was I was buying crypto so I bought Litecoin Bitcoin Ethereum mm-hmm. had these on recurring payments every single day That's and so good. <laughs> yeah yeah it, because it's like this is something I teach my my students a lot of times is that you have to you have to DCA the way you make money so mm. I, I had a very cash rich business where I would make money every single day. So every single day, you know, we do these, I had, an, I had a landscape and irrigation business. I ran it since, uh, 2011 basically. And, um, ran it up until just about last year, basically I passed it off to my brothers, but, um, I was doing the landscape business. So I was making like, we were doing all these properties and houses. Um, they would finish these properties and bring me checks back or cash. And then I would uh, deposit this in the bank and then um, pay out workers and do all that other stuff, you know, um, just the regular business uh, sort of business thing. And then I would have a certain leftover amount of money. And instead of spending it on like bullshit or and everything like that, I would, uh, I would take that money and invest as much as I possibly could into crypto up until. So basically I would just leave myself just above broke. <laughs> <laughs> for the long time so i mean from 2016 to about um damn near like what 2021 i was doing that complete at the entire time just putting just putting all my cash in bought hex but wow I, bought, I mean i bought the, i used all the money for my business because like i i basically figured out like i had tried multiple times to scale my business up but what would happen is you would just need a certain amount of capital because like um i would i would get my business to about 15 employees and then you would just not, you would just end up getting, you would hit a, like a six month dry spell where you would just not get as many of these big jobs. Mm. And then I, I would go back down from 15 down to like eight or seven. And then like, so I would balloon up and then balloon back down. And this was like something that a lot of other businesses were also experiencing. So when you end up getting a lot of these jobs, you're still making money, of course, but you're like, in order, in order to get, like, I, like it was very, it basically because the business, the margins were lower, were low because, you know, it's a physical business, you know, there's a lot of expenses and you also, it's, it's a, you also have to like work in the business and work on the business, which is very hard. Mm-hmm. Right. So, you know, um, being my first business and stuff. And then um, I, I ended up expanding out to like uh, irrigation in order to like, that was a way to like, actually pull more cash because the, the margins were a lot better, but um, regardless or not, um, I basically needed a big, in flush of cash, I basically figured out like I needed about another six hundred thousand dollars in order to like give me enough runway where I had a year and a half to actually try to like where I could keep my staff 
then keep it growing. And then from there, so I can maybe advance to the point where I had 30, 40 employees, 50 employees, but I would need runway basically. So I was mm-hmm. like, you know what? My, so my original thing, my kind of my thesis was for my stocks is it always was like, I'm, I'm going to put this money and put it back into my business because I want to grow it into like a large company. But, um, that, that, um, that money, um, and so I, so I was like, all right, so I've tried, I've tried this multiple times. I can't expend it out because like it just, I keep getting these huge, imp- these impulses of cash and then work dries up and I contract. So mm. this time around when I get these huge impulse of cash, because from 20, basically from 2016 to like 2021, my business just kept growing like crazy. So I took all that cash and just funneled it into crypto. And then the multiples on crypto allowed me basically to uh, then like expand the business. But then essentially it got to the point where I was just so successful in crypto that um, and I was running um, one of the I mean, basically, I think we have the largest like crypto education course in the world right now. And it, it got to the point where I was at the crypto side of the, the crypto business got so big that I just I literally could not out like in time wise hour. I was I was basically running four businesses at the same time. Hmm. I was running a landscape irrigation business, crypto, um, crypto education business, consultation business, and a I actually had a products business that we were in Ace Hardwares and stuff. So I had a uh, a, a, a rat spray, uh, an organic rat spray and stuff. I had to keep rats out of automobiles called Rat Race Auto Spray. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I, I had a lot of businesses basically. Wow, dude, I did not know this. That is that is a demonstration of masculine energy, just not giving up and just going for it every which I way. Mean, but it dro- it drove me crazy because like mm. some, so there was there was this turning point somewhere. I think it was a um, middle. I think right around the all time high. Um, so I had, I kept pretty quiet about this, but around, I would say quarter two, quarter three of 2021, I, um, I was still running all these businesses concurrently. I was running the entire thing, all them, all five, five, six businesses at the same time. And I had a heart attack. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Literally? L- yeah, literally. I had a heart attack. Yeah. yeah. I, had a, I had to go to the hospital and I ended up being on medicine for a little bit. And, uh, it's just, I think it was just too, it was just too, that was a turning point where I had to like. I had a, something had to go and then I um, ended up spending the next four months. Essentially, it was really hard on me because um, I had a, I had to figure out a way how to because like I, I could have just left the business and just let I just kind of just took the crypto businesses and that's it. And that's it. And then my crypto and I'm fine. But I had employees mm. and people were counting on me. So I had a lot of people. I got, I, you can't like, I was like, hey, you guys, sorry, you guys are fired. Bye. Yeah, that you can't you can't do that. So stressful, I man. Lot- you got payroll to make, right? Right. So I had to sp- I spent a lot of time making like downsizing certain parts of the business and and uh, and making as cl- cash flow as possible and easy as possible. So I transitioned the business off to my brothers where they're running it right now and um, they're doing pretty well with it. Um, but I, then they took over and then the, um, the rat spray business, I basically let it um, I you know, I basically let my other business partner essentially take over as the main lead on that business. And then um, that freed up enough time for me to actually be able to just go full time on crypto and be able to expand out uh, significantly from there. Man, I did not know that about you. That's a story and a half.